All right. Uh, anytime Duff is here, I'm a happy oh, guy. We are I really happy. Am. Yes, he's a Food Network star. Duff Goldman is back, and he's answering your Facebook questions, and he's going to teach us how to make a delicious dessert that is perfect for springtime. And I have the first question for you, Duff, okay. before we get going over here. Go for it. This is from Tabitha Hazlitt Croft, and she asks, is it better to buy fondant or try and make your own? Which is a nightmare. Mm -hmm. And if you make your own, how do you color it? What do you suggest? Um, Good question. It's definitely better to buy fondant. And I'm not saying that because I actually have my own line of fondant. I'm saying that because. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. No. But no, the it's thing a is, mess. is that yeah. well, it's a mess. It's really hard on your mixer. Like, this stuff is really, really, really thick. So when you put it in a mixer, it tears up the transmission in there. Yeah. And then if you're doing it by hand, obviously, oh, it's, just, it's, it's, it's a workout. But then the other thing, too, is that you have to learn how to use the consistency of a fondant. So you you learn a certain type, you make it, and then you use it. But then the next time you make it, it's not going to be the same. Why? When you buy it, well, just because oh. little little differences okay. in cornstarch or gelatin or something okay. is stronger. But then when you buy it, it's the same every time you use it. So once you learn how to use it, you become an expert at that. How about coloring it? Coloring it uh, is the same whether you make it or you buy it. You take a gel color, not the stuff you get at the grocery store, the really watery food mm -hmm. coloring. Okay. You don't want to use that. You want to use a really thick gel paste. Oh, OK. A gel base. Okay, very good. Do you All have right. a question? Yes, I do have a question. Uh, actually, Jennifer does. Jennifer Lomax Street says, I love baking cakes from scratch, but when I make chocolate cakes, they come out dry a lot of the time. What's the secret? I think it's a run-on sentence, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the secret for a good, moist, and I think she meant joist, uh, chocolate cake? Okay, there's a bunch of different secrets for a moist chocolate cake, or moist any cake really is. One, increase the fat content in your recipe. So add a little bit more oil, a little bit more butter. Butter and oil are what makes cakes moist. Mm -hmm. Also, don't overbake the cake, so she might just be baking it too long. The thing about cakes is that you really need to know when it's supposed to come out of the How oven. How do you know that? You just develop is there a, a jiggle sense. thing involved? It's, no, it's more like a, you just touch it. It's like okay. a steak, you know, you just sort of poke oh. at it and you're like, oh, that's done. Okay. You just, you develop a sense for when it's done. You are, um, I'm going to start cooking in the presence of somewhat royalty, dog royalty. Oh, yes. because, because toast, toast. Hello, Toast. 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 Hi, 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 Toast. There's no chocolate in your toast. No chocolate. We'll have to ask her mommy what her diet restrictions are. Toast is going to be so part of the little fashion here. show coming up that Laura has. Yeah, so she is. That's why. Look how beautiful. And she's, she's naked so right now, and she's perfect just the way Aww. she is. Excellent. Yes. I love it. Well, what are we going to make toast today? We are going to make a lemon cello granita okay okay now it's it's based on a lemon meringue pie so I have some meringue and we're, and we're gonna make some streusel but it's a granita this is like a, it's like a sorbet it's like a, okay. an, an Italian ice okay now putting putting meringue on a granita though is very Baltimore in the summer in Baltimore you get a you get a shave ice and they put marshmallow fluff on it oh right so I we're gonna do that I with a granita okay. so What's first the first we're gonna make the streusel okay. so you take some butter and some flour and Brown sugar, sugar, sugar. Marky's already over there. Looking. This is cornstarch. It's gonna make it really crunchy. Oh, crunchy! And okay. then a little pinch of salt. So where are you heading to next, Duff? I understand you're really super duper busy. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm going to Atlanta, New York, and then I'm going to Milan. <gasps> I'm representing the United States at the. Um, Milan Expo, like a, it's like a, a food expo for the State oh Department. My God. Oh, yeah. Why are you going to serve this? So let's serve it up here, so we can. Let's be the do it. Test okay, okay let's let's see how it goes. Yeah. All right, so Goodness. right now I'm cutting the butter into the flour, oh right? And this oh, is that, wow. so good. Wow. Watch wow. me zoom this. That zoom, wow. that zoom that is, right? So you're cutting in into the ice, the butter, yeah. the whipped cream. And this is, what are you making, the... This is the streusel. The now, streusel this top. stuff is really great to have for, like, just having around oh. the house. Like, you can make a streusel. It's so mm. light. Isn't it good? It's spring. It's very it spring. It's like spring. Doesn't it? Mm. Okay, so then... <laughs> you put it on a sheet pan. Yeah. And then you bake this off, just like that. Now, you can keep this in the freezer and keep it around the house. Like, you can keep raw streusel and then bake oh. it off as you need it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look how beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven, and then you know you're, we're gonna bust this up, yeah, just like that. And it's just like a cookie; it's a really easy cookie to make. Okay, I'll, I'll right. bust it up while you do the rest. Let me get this the stuff off my hands. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a mess. Are you supposed to use a spoon? Can I do it like this? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. And the hammer. Oh. Right. And then you can like hammer time. You can yeah. like hand it out, and people are gonna put. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now for the granita. Yeah. 
You want them? Mmm. <clears throat> oh, Pass some of those down here. Okay. Some at the no. Okay, so these for are the granita. Yeah, so mm. Yummy. This is simple mm. syrup, right? It's simple it, syrup. It's uh, one to water. one sugar to water. Okay. Sugar and water. Okay. This is wow. lemon zest, lemon juice, and lemon cello. Now, what's lemon cello? Lemon cello is oh. a lemon liqueur. Mm. Oh, we have okay. a fan over here. Mm. We have a oh. fan. Yeah, oh, you like wow. it? I've got permission to get a teeny little bit for toast here. Oh, yummy. Like yummy. <laughs> oh, you good girl. Put a little bit of salt. <laughs> oh, my God. Right, here's the thing. I want you oh, to taste gosh. this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to taste this. Taste this. It's really strong. Okay, I'm going to okay. taste this. The flavor is really big, and the reason is, is that go. when things get cold, the the flavor is wow. a lot lower, right? That's so it's very real strong, strong. Very right? strong. But once it freezes, it's wow. gonna it's gonna Good. taste right. Right now you're like, whoa, that's a little too much. Watch when it freezes. It By the way, while you're doing that, Toast want to know where uh, she can get your cake line, your cake mix line, and all. Oh, that. you can go to Target. Oh, really? Yeah. Need help? Thank you. This is more stuff I could break up. Okay with the music. No, we can't. There it is. Okay. okay. It has to every time the door is open. So here we go. So here's the granita after it's been sitting in the fr in the freezer. So you put it in the freezer and then just mix it with the whisk like every 20 minutes and then it becomes this. This is so good. Isn't it so good? Mm. Okay. It feels so good on my throat. And in spring, mm. after you've been eating like mm. pumpkin pies and apple pies and pecan pies. Oh my goodness, no, right? it's so light. refreshing. Yeah. So a little granita. This. Oh, yeah. Now this is great as an intermezzo. So if you're having like a really big meal and you want to have a little palate between, cleanser. Yeah, palate cleanser. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is also, it's re also really good in an ice cream cone. I'm going to wait for the rest. I'm just going to have. Oh, I'm, mm. I'm sorry. Mm. This is so good. Oh, well, they're eating. Mm. It's really amazing. Oh. Hold on, hold on, mm. hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. <gasps> you do your... Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Yeah. Torch it. Ooh, I want torch those in my kitchen. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Perfect. 